Hey guys, it's Carol here. I am back with my most used favorite lipsticks for the springtime. So these were the colors I got the most use out of last springtime and some of the summer, some of these colors as well. And so I just wanted to share them with you because you might be really interested in them as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first color I have mentioned before, but I read the name wrong, so my bad there, but it is called Pink Champagne and it's from Estee Lauder. It is the most beautiful, perfect coral color. I absolutely love it. I was mistakenly calling it rouge before. It's called pink champagne. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a pearl finish, but it has just enough coral and just enough pink in there to just make it the absolute perfect coral color. It's so pretty, it's so flattering, it brightens up my face. It is perfect for like a fresh dewy look or if you just, I don't know, wanna brighten up your face, but it's just so pretty and it goes with so many colors. So this is the lipstick for the last few weeks and I know for spring that I have to force myself to see, can I wear any other color with this? Because I want to wear this one every single time. And I just love it so much, it's perfect. So again, that's Pink Champagne from Estee Lauder. The next color comes from Clinique and is called Precious Pink. It's more of like a champagne-y, peachy color. And this is what it looks like swatched. It's, it's quite, you know, sheer, but it's the perfect color that I like to pop onto another color sometimes just to like tone it down a bit. But I have worn this by itself with like a lip liner before. And I'll show you that lip liner. I've mentioned it before. It kind of goes with a lot of things for me in the spring and summer. But I really, really like this one. I got a lot of use out of it last year. And I know I'll get a lot of use out of it this year because it's just a great color to wear either alone with a little bit of lip liner, with gloss, or on top of another lipstick. So I really like that. The next color comes from Revlon's Lip Butter and it's called Creamsicle. Looks like this in the package. It's very light, I can't even swatch it, but look, it's completely like, I've been having to just stick my lip in there to get more, but I need to repurchase it, most definitely. This is also a great color to pop onto another lipstick to tone it down, to wear by itself with a lip liner, and it's so, so pretty. It's just a really nice, creamy, um, creamsicle color. It's like the perfect name for it. It's so pretty and I love it. So I will be repurchasing this very soon because I know it sounds vain to say this, but I feel like I can't live without it. You know what I mean? The next color is more of a bright pop of orange color and it's also from Revlon's Lip Butters and it's in the shade Tutti Fruity. Looks like this in the packaging. It looks a little scary when you look at it. There it is, swatched. It is a bright orange and I can already hear probably some of you thinking, what? Why would you want to wear that on your lips? But it's just perfect sometimes for certain looks in the spring or the summertime. It just looks so pretty. Um, it's really nice for like a fresh dewy look, a nice bright pop of orange. I like to tone it down a lot of the times with either the creamsicle and the Revlon lip butters or from um, Clinique's Precious Pink. So it's just wonderful. I have worn it alone and it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look crazy. It actually looks really pretty and just a nice pop of color but I also tone it down a lot as well. So it's one of those colors that's nice to mix with other colors if you are a little bit intimidated with that bright orange color. You know, when it comes to lipsticks, you can always kind of transform the look of it, adding other lipsticks or lip glosses to it or even lip liners. So don't be intimidated. If you love peachy, orange, creamsicle, coral colors, you might actually like this. So this is something I really love a lot in the spring and the summer. More along the lines of pinks. This is the pink, and this is more of a brighter pink, and it's the Sweet Tart from Revlon Lip Butter. Looks like this in the packaging, and it is a bright, really pretty, just a bright, true pink. So pretty. And there it is right there. I absolutely love it. I am wearing it today, so see, it's not as scary as it looks. If you're like, oh my God, I cannot wear that pink. I'm wearing it today and it doesn't look scary. It looks quite natural and just almost like an everyday color. So it can be shirt out. You can wear it with other lipsticks or glosses to tone it down a little bit, or you can wear it and have a nice bright pop of pink color. So that's why I really like this one too. And I wear it quite often when I'm wanting to wear a nice bright pop of pink. Okay, the lip liner that I use the absolute most because it can pull more pink if you want or it can pull more coral. It's just kind of like the perfect color for spring and summer, I think. And I got so much use out of it last year and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it already because I already have. And this is 005 Pure from Rimmel's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner line. And oh, 
I just love this color. It's so perfect for so many looks. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it all the way across all those lip colors because I want you to see how it can be perfect for any of these lipsticks. So there it is right there. I swatched it all the way across. Can you see how it really can be perfect for any of these? I mean, even the orange one, if you just put it lightly and, you know, mix the orange with the, um, like a lip gloss or maybe another lipstick, like, it's perfectly fine. Look at it. It's so pretty. You can wear it a little lighter. You can wear it more brighter. It stays on our lips really, really well. It almost leaves like a stain. Like it lasts a really long time and Rimmel's Exaggerate Lip Liners are my favorite right now. I just love those from the drugstore. They're a great value for the quality that they provide and it's a twist up, you know. We don't have to sharpen anything. Um, I'm getting, you know, irritated by the ones that you have to sharpen because I don't always have a sharpener that matches it. And I have a few sharpeners and I haven't been able to find sharpeners to match my other lip liners that are the sharper, the ones you have to sharpen. So this is a really great staple to have in your collection for spring and summer if you love bright lip colors. Or even if you love just softer lip colors but you want just a little bit more brightness, sometimes you can just put a light layer of this on and it will look so pretty. The last color I wanted to show you today is actually a gloss and it's from Revlon's Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. As you can tell, I love Revlon. I just love their lip products. This is Pink Whisper from Revlon, and this is such a great staple to have in a collection because it's such, first of all, the formula is awesome, but the color is so perfect. So I went ahead and swatched it across all those colors because look how perfect it could go with all those colors. It can even kind of transform itself to kind of go along with that orange if you want to, but what I do want to add to my collection this year is the color Peach Petal. It's kind of like if you took this and just made the peach version of it, that's what it is. It is the most beautiful, creamy, um, pastel-y, creamsicle color, and I think it would be great for the more orange or peach colors to add. This will work if you only want to get one, but I mean, come on, if you can get two, might as well. So that is one that, um, I definitely am going to add to my collection this year's Peach Petal because I think it is just going to be one of those glosses that is perfect to throw on a lot of lip colors. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for hanging out with me as always guys. Um, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram are all in the description box below so don't forget to check that out and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!